Hey folks, I know that it's been a long time since I've made a video. Um, I've actually made several videos, I just haven't edited them and posted them. But I feel inspired today. Today is 72 degrees out. It is October 15th. And it's been... A lot, a lot of changes have happened in the yard, obviously, because it's uh, in autumn now, or in fall. But I uh, just wanted to show you a couple things and tell you what's going on with me. Voila, the first thing you'll notice is that tree is gone. Alright, over here I planted the blueberries from Ms. Pearl. Right, the pepper plants. They're doing really good. Very tasty. Green right there. And they have been, they've been turning red, which I was really surprised. But uh, one of my other discoveries is that I have some hot peppers. Two of those plants growing. None of the the uh, other peppers grew. The marigolds are just doing absolutely wonderful. And I've cut down the pumpkins. I had three growing, plus that fourth little baby one. So this is a combination of loofah and sweet potatoes. And I am dying to know if there's any sweet potatoes down there. Cut the corn stalks down a couple days ago. This I have. This is my one squash that grew of that kind, and this is the other squash which is still growing. And there are my my loofahs, but I don't think they're going to get big enough before it gets too cold. So this little trellis thing has done wonders. All right, so third bloom of the year. The colors in that it's beautiful. Some, oh, some rose hips right there, nice. Another one right there. But here's my, my corn stalks. And those are the three pumpkins I grew. As most of you know, my parents are teachers, and my one of my mom's students brought in that one. Right there, and there's two more inside. They're about the size of those. So those are my three pumpkins. Those are the corn stalks. Now, interesting story. I had two reds, two blues, two orange striped. So that's six. I had seven in total, um, plus two little baby ones. I don't really count those. And um, when I cut these down, I cut the uh, cobs off the ears off and I put them on the porch to dry up on a rack and I came out the next day and three plus the two baby got ones were totally gone eaten destroyed assumed to be eaten and taken by a squirrel I don't know oh the tobacco planet I had a uh, had to take it from the balcony but this I really recommend putting tobacco plants. I don't know if you can see. Let me try to get the focus on here. So black specks. Those are bugs. <laughs> that tobacco plant really attracts the bugs and it makes them stick. The plant is very sticky in itself. So I'm not sure if the marigolds helped or not. I've had a a lot of problem with ants, so I have to figure out what to do about ants. I'll tie in basil is wonderful right there. This is the tie one, and that's the American basil right there. Two totally different flavors, both very good. There and right there, some kind of huge nest. I'm not sure if it's a squirrel's nest or a bird's nest. But also, the main reason is because up in Catalpa tree, there's a nest right there. And we've had this nest there for many, many years. My dad thinks it's a, either a hawk's nest or an eagle's nest or some one of those 
exciting birds, which I've never seen in the yard, but he claims to see them all the time. Uh, could be a squirrel's nest. Let's see if we can get a different point of view. And unfortunately, this uh, this camera does not have a telephoto lens on it, so I don't have much of an option as far as what I can see with this camera. Anyway, going down to here, this was where that big branch was, the big pile, and where I had This is uh, where the big, one of the big branches was, and I had a whole bunch of bushes growing here. All right, so I am up on my balcony, and uh, since you haven't seen the previous videos, I guess I gotta need to tell you what's going on. I have bought this uh, six mil plastic, and I've stapled it sides bottom you know, and down. This was, uh, sorry for the fast motion, this was one big roll and I still have some left over. So it seemed to be perfect. This is the side that gets the uh, most breeze. So I've had to repair this one a couple times. But in any case, I moved all the uh, tomato plants up here a couple months ago when we had our first little cold snap. Maybe uh, couple months uh, in September and everything seems to be doing great up here so I just kind of left everything these are some of the, the main tomatoes they're really itty bitty they're literally the size of blueberries and so there's another one that one growing there I think that's a blue tomato we've decided that the blue tomatoes are probably from the uh, the Cherokee family which are poisonous so you gotta cut the tops off because that one right there is kind of a little rotting. It was a, had a, the very typical signs of a Cherokee tomato. Now I want to mention right there is a tobacco plant. This plant right here and every single one of these, these four plants in here all had the tops totally chewed off, kind of like this branch right here, by some insectoid. And I moved one of these tomato plants into the planter and lo and behold everything's like that's growing back I mean literally these have all growing back so whatever it was the tobacco plant has uh, definitely done its duty it's helping the plants to survive an insect attack so this right here is caterpillar I think but to be honest I really honestly do not know what it is but I've stepped on one so I know it's a caterpillar not sure what all those things are hanging off of it kinda creepy and inside here I've got these uh, white stuff growing I'm not really sure what that is, some kind of mushroom or fungus or something. So I'm not going to be reusing that soil next year. Nor that one, nor that one that has the blue tomatoes in it. But, uh, so this is that American sweet potato. All this time, that's really all it's done. That's all it's done. In however many months I've had it in water but it's growing so I really can say about that these are the uh, sweet potatoes that Mr. John Parker gave me they're in this pot so we'll see how they are here is my pineapple which has been transplanted three times now and it's starting to get wide and it has two babies so this one evidently likes this pot. So this is my dwarf Myers lemon. 
seems to be doing really well up here in the balcony as well. So the pineapple is good, the lemon is good, the olive and the banana are downstairs. They'll be moved up here shortly. And this is the goji berry that Ms. Pero gave me. It's going to be transplanted this week as well. Once I move everything inside. Although it's 72 degrees, it's October 15th. Amazing temperature wise. Um, but everything's going to be moved inside or put up here because this seems to be doing really well with the plants. Nothing seems to be getting affected by the cold. And um, the only real problem that I've seen so far is all bees. They come in here and they die. I don't know if it's because they're dying because of the time of year or if they're dying because they can't get back out or what it is, but they always seem to go along that edge. So that's really about it.